Are you sick and tired of things not being computers? Like, what's the point of a microwave if I can't play Fortnite on it? Well, don't worry. I'm on a mission to turn random objects into fully functioning PCs, starting with an object that's handcrafted by those who have willingly disregarded the advancements of technology. That's right, today we're turning an Amish fireplace into a gaming PC. Now, the first step is just disassembling the fireplace altogether. And it's been inspected by Jonah, so you know things are gonna be tough to take apart. To gain access to the inside of the fireplace, I need to remove this wooden case surrounding it. Handcrafted by the Amish, hand destroyed by yours truly. As I tear down this fireplace, I can't help but think about the Amish lifestyle. Technology has certainly ingrained itself in every aspect of my life and probably yours as well, to the point where I can't even imagine a day without using my phone or the internet. So to think there's a group of people that willingly don't even use electricity is kind of mind boggling. And well, that's actually not entirely true. The Amish do use some amount of electricity and don't just totally disregard all new technology. Instead, they limit their use of technology such that it doesn't interfere with their home life or their family, which is pretty interesting. So for example, they can use power tools to build something like the Amish fireplace and then sell it, but they can't use power tools just for fun, especially if it's distracting enough to pull them away from their family. And so while that might be on the extreme end of a spectrum, I do think there's validity in being conscious of how much we use technology that is drawing us away from one another. Just something to think about. And as a side note, as we're disassembling this fireplace, even though it's handcrafted by the Amish, the heater in this top area is actually made in China. So the more you know. Now that we have access to the inside of the Amish fireplace, the fun part can begin. But how in the world are we going to fit an entire computer inside of this tiny little area? My first thought is to slot a makeshift monitor in the back here. This monitor is a little more lightweight than a normal monitor because I pulled it from a laptop which you can check out that whole process in my YouTube short here. Now, this monitor will block out the actual flames that you normally see on the Amish fireplace, but given it's a monitor, we can put whatever we want on it, so I have a feeling we'll be able to replicate those flames in 4K. Now, due to the limited space, we're going to have to go with an ITX build inside of here, but luckily I have an ITX computer right here that I'm going to deconstruct and uh, see if we can't fit that in the fireplace. The way I think this is gonna have to work is to have the motherboard, the CPU, the CPU cooler, and the RAM all underneath the fireplace down here where the light bulbs are. There's actually a decent amount of room here. And with the logs already covering up most of the screen, I don't think we can fit all the components up on top here. That said, I do still want the graphics card to be sitting on top of the burning logs, just like these two here. For the system itself, we're going with a Ryzen 7 5800X in this ITX motherboard. This is the smallest motherboard I have, and I honestly thought it was going to fit so nicely, but it turns out there's even less clearance than I initially thought, which means we're going to have to make it even slimmer. We'll do that by replacing the existing AMD Wraith Prism cooler that's on top of this 5800X with its little brother, the AMD Wraith Spire. Thankfully, this smaller cooler fits right into the opening in the fireplace, but we'll have to see if the sacrifice in cooler size drastically impacts the thermals when we do some benchmarks later on. Similarly, a normal size power supply just isn't going to cut it. There's no way this is gonna fit. And so luckily, they also make ITX power supplies, which are roughly half the size of a normal ATX power supply. This is gonna fit perfect and still pumps out enough watts to power our PC. But man, if you thought cable management was an issue in a normal PC, there's just so little access once you put the parts inside of this fireplace. So I'm really gonna have to plug in as many wires as I can outside of the fireplace, and then I'm really just gonna cram everything into the back. Thankfully, these both fit nicely, but honestly, just barely. Check it out, this power supply is literally touching a light bulb, which does illuminate when the fireplace is turned on. That's how the flames are generated. Is this safe? Uh, maybe. What's the worst that could happen? And all right, with our monitor, our motherboard, and our power supply all installed, it's time to spice things up even further. Now, we're running out of room in the bottom area here, but guess where there's plenty of room? Right on top of the burning logs. To make this work, we're going to have to break out a PCI riser, which will allow us to put our GPU wherever we please, which in this case happens to be on a bed of flaming logs. Honestly, if this works out, it's going to look so cool. <laughs> Thankfully, for some reason, there's already holes drilled into the back of these plastic logs which we can use to route both our PCIe cable as well as our HDMI display output. That way the cables won't be strung all over the place and I think it'll actually look pretty clean. And now with all of the essential PC components installed, as we power on the system for the first time, we can see that it does in fact spin to life. <laughs> That's awesome, okay, great start, but we still have quite a bit of work to do. This doesn't look totally compelling yet, so let's get to work on some cosmetics. After all, what's an Amish fireplace gaming PC without a military style on and off switch? You know, that might be the first time that sentence has ever been said in the history of the world. <laughs> 
Now there is an existing button on the back side of the fireplace that's used to reset the heater. And so we're going to replace that with our military style on an off switch. But as of right now, the hole itself isn't quite large enough. So let's break out the power tools. In this case, a Dremel. With a little bit of elbow grease and some patience, now it fits. Is that overkill? Yeah, probably, but hey, <laughs> we're pulling a PC in a fireplace, why not? Now I really want this GPU to stand out on the flaming logs. And so while it will have some light being shown on it from the underside of the glowing logs, there's no real lighting coming from the top, so let's change that. Thankfully, in my box of ridiculous PC accessories, I have plenty of red LED lasers. And so let's take a few of those, attach them to the top of the fireplace, and point them directly down at the GPU to add some red illumination from the top side. All right, and so now with our PC fully assembled, our cosmetics included, the wooden case installed back onto the frame, our fireplace PC is up and running like a charm. So now the only thing left to do is to find a 10 hour long fireplace video, watch the three minutes of ads before that fireplace video, and then bam, we got ourselves a one of a kind Amish fireplace gaming PC that honestly just looks so cool. I'm so happy with how this turned out. And now there's one less thing out there in the world that isn't a computer. Oh, I feel better already. Now, after some initial benchmarking, this PC does run extremely hot. The 5800X is running particularly hot because it doesn't have enough cooling. It's being cooled by a Wraith Spire, which just isn't keeping up. Remember, we had to downgrade our cooler so that it would fit in the fireplace at all. There's also just not a lot of ventilation going on inside of this fireplace. There are some slits in the back, but this would really be improved by cutting out a hole and installing a case fan right in the back there. But you know, it's kind of fitting having a really hot computer inside of a fireplace. Imagine if it was cool and crispy, that would just be a total contradiction to the flaming fireplace. So, you know, the more I think about it, this was totally a um, deliberate design decision to uh, fit the theme of the fireplace. Yeah, totally. You know, it's been a fun journey building this fireplace gaming PC thing, but all good things must come to an end. And now we must return this to where it rightfully belongs, back to the Amish. Luckily, this bad boy is rocking some wheels, so transportation shouldn't be awful. Right. <laughs> Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> oh, it's so heavy. A few moments later. They uh they didn't want it. 